Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you every time I'm uploading a new video. And if you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you a DIY video that has been highly requested over the years that I've just never brought to you. And it's how I decorated my rolling drawers. These are drawers that I've had for years and years and years that were once upon a time rainbow drawers. And as I started doing YouTube, I started making my table a bit nicer and the rainbow drawers just kind of didn't fit with my decor anymore. So instead of buying new drawers, I decided to put just a little bit of DIYing in them just for the time being to make them suit my decor. Every January, Michaels has an amazing sale, an organizational sale, where you can get these rolling drawers, you can get shelving units, you can get bin organizers, you name it, you can get it there. And every year, I buy just a couple new pieces to add and replace to my crafting table. So when I do have a craft room, everything will kind of match, and I'll be able just to move it on into the craft room. And that's kind of what I had in mind for these cube organizers in back of me as well. All of this stuff is going to soon go into a crafting room. And so that way, when I do have my crafting room, I don't have to buy it all at once and it doesn't hurt as much. And so this year, I decided to buy new rolling drawers. And I bought the clear ones because I wanted it, like I said, to match. But I also want to tie in my style into these drawers. And so for a couple of dollars, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to DIY these drawers so you can tie them into your decor so it suits your decor style. So let's jump into it. I picked up two sets of these drawers because I really need the storage. They're $29.99 at Michaels. You can't use a 50% off coupon because these are considered a door buster. And honestly, it really doesn't get any easier putting these together. It's a matter of eight screws and you're done. And just like that, it's time for some DIYing to personalize and customize these drawers to suit your decor needs for under a couple of dollars. On each drawer, there's an end that has a hole in it. This is for the knob. This is the side that will be DIYing. I'm a template person because I believe that making a template just makes things move along quickly and more easily. So I'm gonna make a template of the front of this drawer with a piece of cardstock. There's a lip on the top of the drawer. You wanna be sure and put the cardstock up under that lip before you trace it. And just like that, I've made a template that I can cut out to make 20 more decorative pieces for the front of my drawers. For the front of these drawers, I'll be using this scrapbooking paper that looks like burlap. I got this at Joann's in their open stock paper for 20 cents a sheet. Then taking my template on the back side of my scrapbooking paper, I'm gonna line it up with the top of my scrapbooking paper and I'm gonna trace it. And again, I'm gonna take my template, I'm gonna line it up with that bottom line that I just traced, and I'm gonna trace my template again. This is just so you get the most out of your scrapbooking paper. You're gonna cut that bottom line anyway, so why make two cuts when you can make one? You should be able to get four of these templates per piece of scrapbooking paper. Because I want my cuts to be perfect, I'm gonna use my paper cutter to cut these out. I'm using a 12 inch Fiskars paper cutter. This is one that I got at Walmart for under $10. You can find these at Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, and if you pair your 50% off coupon with it, you're getting it at a great buy. The replacement blades aren't bad either. You can get them for about three or $4. And again, using a 50% off coupon, you're getting them for about $2. I love this cutter, I use it all the time, and it is definitely a handy tool to have. And for those angled edges, you can use this cutter as well. 
just by simply placing it in the cutter at an angle. Make sure your line is lined up with the wire in the center of the ruler. And when you cut it, there you've got a perfectly straight angled edge, if that makes any sense. And there we have it, easy peasy. Now to adhere these onto the front of the drawers, I will be using this spray adhesive by Scotch. This is a smaller can that you can get for $2.99. I never buy anything at Joann's without a coupon, so using a 50% off coupon, I got it for $1.50. I'm gonna give the back of my pieces of scrapbooking paper a real good coat of this spray adhesive. Because it's repositionable, you have a few minutes to reposition it and get it just right onto the front of your drawers. Once you've got it into place, just rub it down and it is there for good. And there we've just covered the front of our drawer with a piece of burlap looking scrapbooking paper. All that's left to do is attach the knobs. I'm gonna use a pencil and from the inside of the drawer, I'm gonna poke through the hole because I don't wanna stick the screw right through the paper and risk ripping it. I figured this was the best way to do it. With the last set, I did paint my knobs in oil rubbed bronze this time I decided against it because the whole unit itself is made up of this chrome and I just kind of wanted to steer away from painting anything because I don't want to have to worry about touching it up later. Here they are before and after. I love this burlap paper. It definitely goes with the theme of my soon to be room. Let's switch out my old drawers here with these new ones much better. Let's take a closer look at my old drawers. To paint them, I used an acrylic paint in the color of khaki. It's an inexpensive paint. I needed something inexpensive and budget friendly because I really just needed to cover up the color. I needed these drawers to blend in with my living room and my craft table. The front of them, I used a contact paper that I got at Walmart but you can see that over time, they really just cracked and cracked and I really got tired of patching it up. And so here we have these new drawers. They are clean, they are pretty, and they are going to match everything burlap that I have going into my craft room. And I did this for the budget-friendly price of about $3, which included the spray adhesive and three sheets of scrapbooking paper. And how easy was that to do using scrapbooking paper of all things? You could do it using contact paper as well. Honestly though, using scrapbooking paper when you go to Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, their open stock paper, you can get just about any scrapbooking paper that will suit any decor style. And it is such an easy way to decorate these drawers so they tie into your decor. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because those thumbs up, they really do help my channel to grow. And it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. And bye for now, everybody.